Good morning. Uh, we are, well I am, just about to get ready to go to bar. I'm having some coffee right now in my Atlanta mug because I have been there because <laughs> I'm from there. It has the Chattahoochee River on it. Look at that. As you know, maybe, I took Dorian on the Chattahoochee River last weekend or two weekends ago, I guess now at this point. He went on in kayaks and on the uh, on the stand at paddleboard. I'm wearing Old Navy stuff, so these are Elevate High Waisted um, Tall. They're like medium tall, but look how much extra I have down here. That never happens. And then this is just like a medium, and it has like a slit here. Mesh detail is the perfect length. Okay, so I have a haul coming later today. Hey, I'm editing right now, and I just realized that I never did the haul for Old Navy. So that's gonna be in tomorrow's video, so be sure to check that out. With the other things that I ordered from Old Navy, and so this was the first thing that I just like pulled out to put on to wear to bar. So we're doing a Empower class today, which is more of a cardio-based class, which is more of a sweating-based class. So I'll see how these go. First one I got was like dirty, like already dirty. Like the um, this part was like dirty, and there was like a little bit of like dirt right here. Like it fell on the floor wherever it was being made. Are you kidding me? What a piece of crap! Ugh. <laughs> uh, I wonder if I can fix that. It's like all the way up in there. How do I fix it? What the heck? Look how legit it is. It even has this like college seal. It's like licensed UGA merch. Crap. Okay, that is a funny one. 48 minutes. So it's a bit shorter than normal, the cardio ones, but I still burned over 500 calories, so 502 in the exercise. Average heart rate was 159. Max heart rate was 205. <laughs> yeah, it gets hard. It's like tw almost one. My allergy shot, thank you for stopping directly behind me. My allergy shot's at 120. I feel like if I get there early, it's not really, like I don't think I'm supposed to get there early because of the whole COVID thing and like waiting in the waiting room and stuff. So it's gonna take me 10 minutes to get there. I'll be 10 minutes early. Thought about canceling because I have a lot to do today and just like going later this week, which I still might do. I have to pee really bad. So I can't really make any decisions because I have to pee. It's taking up a lot of my bandwidth. I'm probably going, I'm probably on the way there right now. <laughs> I think I'll stop and get Starbucks before. Really are. Way more today than yesterday. Crazy. drive through line is wrapped all the way around the building. That's the window right there, but they're typically pretty quick. So hopefully this goes only, it only takes 10 minutes. All right, so there's the sweat mark that I have. They're dark enough that like, I didn't super notice the sweat until just now. We've been in line already for about 10 minutes already. It's 104. Three, I don't know, four cars in front of me to order. Afternoon, take your chicken starbucks. Hannah, yeah, what are we getting today? Hi, can I have a grande um, pumpkin cream cold brew? It's 1.10 exactly, so I have 10 minutes now to get to my appointment. And I might be a minute or two late, which is probably better. <laughs> ah, so excited. Oh. Mm. They put a lot more cream on there than they normally do. 
Oh, that's so good. When they don't put enough like of that cream stuff on top, then there's not enough of it to like mix with each sip. And so like each sip, you're just getting like raw coffee. And I, I like mine coffee. Mine coffee creamer. I like my coffee creamy. It just occurred to me that my appointment was probably at one, not 120. It's exactly 120 right now, 121. So I'm actually gonna be a lot later than I thought. Hopefully it's okay. Okay, it's two o'clock. I'm trying to decide since I'm already in this area, if I wanna go to the school, I need to go into this like special office for my art history class called the grad office, which I haven't been to. I don't have a key for it. So I might have to get a key if it's not open. But apparently there's stuff in there that I need and my, my meeting today at four with my professor, I need to have already taken a look at that stuff. So it makes sense, right, for me to just go now instead of having to go home and get my dog out or whatever. I think I'm just gonna go now. Uh, I just realized I still have to pee. Uh, uh, I still have to pee. Why did I go? I didn't have to go the whole time I was in there and now back in the car I have to go again. Like still. Let's use this. Innocent Helena. So here's what my shots look like today. Actually, that looks really bad. <laughs> Let's do the other one. Yeah, that looks pretty bad. They're kind of itchy. And I've taken two different types of allergy medicine today, including my inhaler. But ugh, that doesn't look really good. And this is like not a very high dose. Okay, made it in. This is the grad office. Our history office, it's like computer lab with some books. So I'm gonna take some photos of books. I could not get into the other studio because I was using the wrong key. <laughs> I got a little bit of image or footage or whatever of my studio, so there's some clips of that. The reason I couldn't get in was because I was using the wrong key. She told me that a specific key would work for that specific door. I wasn't sure which door, so I was just trying all of them. Didn't work for any of them. I was like, okay, I guess I just don't know which one it is. Well, and then I tried that key that was supposed to be for this room. It didn't work. <laughs> it's like so stupid. It's like two different keys. Why didn't I just try the other key on that door? I just assumed that it wouldn't work. 2.30 already. I finally went, and got, went to the bathroom. <laughs> So we're good I didn't really find too much, but I mean, these books are really cool on the outside. They just like look super old. This one, and I don't really like touching this one. It's like rotting. But I didn't find anything new. It's just stuff that I've already had. I got one photo of one building that I didn't have that I had been looking for. But other than that, <laughs> tight. What the actual fuck? I had a, a big art bin, a gray art bin, that I had all of this supplies in and now all the supplies is sitting out here and my art bin is gone i was just coming to get it like where did it go <laughs> why take the art bin and leave all the supplies <laughs> the supplies are what's worth money not the art bin but i'm just annoyed because um that was my art bin it wasn't the schools that was my personal personal art bin What the hell? I'm so annoyed by that. Like, I don't understand, like, why take the art bin and, like, not take the supplies? Like, that pack of Rembrandt pastels is, like, a hundred bucks. Like, I don't understand, like, 
Like why steal <laughs> and not steal all of it? Like why like what makes you think like it was okay to take the art bin? But like why wouldn't you just take everything? Like I just don't understand like the thought process. I don't understand. Why would someone think it's okay to take everything out of an art bin and claim the art bin for themselves? Did I not? I think I have my name on it. I'm pretty sure I like Sharpie my name on like everything. I might, I may not have done it for that thing. Cause I don't remember if I ever took that to school. Ooh, it was hot. I'm so annoyed. But anyway, so I went in there because I was gonna take my supplies home so I can do my Zoom call for my students, my teaching at home so I didn't have to come back because it's already three right now. And I had that meeting with professor for my art history at four. And then and now I don't have to like leave and go to school to teach that class because I can just do it at home. So I got paper and materials that I just put inside of my, a stupid Bath and Body Works bag instead of my art bin. I, don't, I just don't understand. I just don't get it. Oh, okay, done with that Zoom call. Um, let me show you this too. I don't know if you can see this little spot right here. Yes, there's a spot on you. There's a little spot on you. Yep, right there. Blocked, being blocked. All right, denied access to the spot. Anyway, that's the spot that I was talking about that's like um, maybe partially, possibly, partially, possibly another one of those like tissue growths or something that he might have. Don't know. Um, five o'clock almost and my class that I'm teaching starts at 6.30. I have all my stuff here so I'm gonna work on the table but first I have to read the same thing that I assigned to my students in this guide to drawing book. So chapter three and chapter five, one's about composition, one's about seeing deeply. So I have to read both of those. They're like six pages or something like each so that I'm ready to lead the seminar when that class starts in an hour and a half. I just took my hair down. Ugh. I like washed it last night and yet I still feel like I have. Do you ever get that like, oh you can see it in the back. Do you ever get that, um, it's like if you have your hair in like a ponytail or something, well, I don't know, maybe I just, maybe it's just me. I have a cowlick on the back of my head, so like having my hair in a ponytail pushes my cowlick the opposite way, and so it just like stays like that after I take my ponytail down. Does that, does that happen to you? <laughs> this is so weird. All right, so what I was gonna say is that I just finished, um, teaching and I finished pretty much everything that I needed to do like um, like admin wise and it's like 9 30 ish and I I, I want to show you what I was drawing for that. so this was a drawing of space so their next assignment is a space drawing and then I was trying to show them how to um, properly shade a gourd <laughs> this looks so terrible but I mean, that's like what the gourd looked like. I'm just like, dude, this looks so weird. I was trying to like give examples of like what this looks like from above or whatever. And like, it's literally just so wrong. Like this was a pumpkin from above and uh, this was a gourd. <laughs> God, it's so bad. I mean, that looks nice, this and that. If it's not raining, you might be able to go outside and go for a walk. We should go see if it's raining. Oh yeah, look at this mess of just like articles and stuff that I have to read. There's some on this other side too. On the table there's some. On this side there's some. It's just a mess of articles. This is my life. I'll be looking forward to when I don't have to write, read so many articles. I even have some on the table. Right there. They're everywhere. I mean it's like pitch black outside. And it's like 9.30 but like I kind of still want to go on a walk I just like around the neighborhood a couple of times maybe like for 30 minutes I know what you're gonna ask and the answer is yes I'm wearing long sleeves because it's 74 degrees outside and it's cold that's freezing I mean it was during the day it might even be colder now what's the temp what's the temp right now it's 70 degrees right now yeah. and we're back <sighs> I think we walked for like 45 minutes. Um, 
something like that. I have my glasses on, which is amazing that I didn't get tired of them. That means it was just really not humid because my nose wasn't sweating or like getting moist because my glasses will slide down my nose when it's hot out. But it's like 10.30 now and we're gonna go get in bed. Well, I'm already in bed, but I'm gonna get in bed <laughs> properly. Like and subscribe to be notified for when we uh, sporadically post. And I will see you guys in the next one. <laughs> Bye.